Let's take a dive into the world of Table Driven Trigger Management, or TDTM. Apex is the programming language used to build complex automation in Salesforce, and TDTM is a framework for managing that code in NPSP. For example, an Apex trigger automatically updates address data when the contact is updated, and other triggers roll up giving totals from opportunities to household accounts. Developers should learn about TDTM before writing code for NPSP. But in this video, we'll focus on an admin-friendly aspect of TDTM, the trigger handler object. Trigger handlers are records in Salesforce that control the behavior of any Apex triggers managed by TDTM. That could include the triggers that came with NPSP or any code added by our nonprofit's developer. Let's take a look at the trigger handlers that come with NPSP. In NPSP settings, click System Tools, then Trigger Configuration. NPSP displays the trigger handlers available in our org, along with some key information. This helps us understand what trigger handlers are present. But to edit a trigger handler, we must create a new tab and list view to access the records. We won't cover how to do that here. The instructions can be found in NPSP documentation. Most importantly, we should understand the implications of editing a trigger handler before we make any changes. We can find Apex class descriptions in NPSP documentation, and we'll talk to a developer or other expert if needed. And of course, we will test everything in a sandbox first. So what can we do with a trigger handler? As Salesforce administrators, we sometimes need to control how or when NPSP triggers fire in certain circumstances. For example, we might have custom Apex code that updates accounts when their related contacts are edited. Our system administrator needs this code to run when importing data. NPSP also has code that updates accounts, and it's possible for our custom code and the NPSP code to conflict with one another. Let's configure the account, individual accounts, TDTM trigger handler to not execute when the user is a system administrator. We locate the contact trigger handler using the tab and the list view and click edit. In usernames to exclude, we enter the Salesforce username of our system administrator. We can include additional usernames if necessary, separating them with a semicolon, then click save. Now the account individual accounts TDTM Apex class won't be called when system administrators edit contacts. Just what we need to allow our custom code to operate here instead. There's much more we can do with trigger handlers. For example, we can deactivate the trigger handler altogether, change their execution order, and even create our own trigger handlers. Learn about TDTM and trigger handlers in NPSB documentation. Thanks for watching.